Hello and welcome to today's video. I'd like to thank Solbio for actually supporting this channel. And uh, Solbio is a completely natural toilet fluid. It can be also used in the waste tank. It's environmentally friendly as it's made from completely natural ingredients. So if you'd like to know more about this product, there'll be more at the end of the current video and there will be links below. Thank you. This is the 2022 range of motorhomes from Florette. This vehicle here, Migrateur 65 LI IJG, it costs 63,000 euros and it is 659 centimeters long and 223 centimeters wide with a German layout in the back. At the front, we've got this uh, L-shaped living uh, area with the table, which has this rather curious effect. It looks as though it's sort of folded up on itself. It looks like, as though it were creased. It isn't, that's the effect. And this creased effect can also be seen here as well on the kitchen top. Now, whether or not you think it looks nice or not, I can assure you it's smooth. Very large sink and two burners, as is the fashion for 2022. Uh, this um, knobs have been moved as of this part of the hob. That's for protection and that is uh, because they have been known to be removed by people visiting the event. So people doing the exhibition now remove them themselves. Oh, that's a really nice deep, very deep storage area. And what kitchen would be complete without a fridge? Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the camera. My mistake, sorry. German layout at the back. And under the bed, we've got this very large wardrobe. Oh, you can see how far back it goes. Enormous, in fact. Indeed, you can open it up like that, and you can see from here how big it is. And I think that's quite convenient. Alternatively, if you want, you can open it up here as well. There's a cushion in here, which you possibly wouldn't be traveling with uh, unless you were organizing an event at a, uh, something like this, in which case you might have to keep spare cushions in them for other vehicles. On the other side, I shall show you. Chest the drawers and a bit of storage in there as well. And I'll open up the chest of drawers so you can see that is indeed a chest of drawers. In there, that's the shower. Is this? Are all the lights on? Yes, all the lights are on. Large shower. I shall go in here just to demonstrate. Look at that. All this room in here. Sink. So how do you get to the toilet? Hmm. Now oh, there's a mystery, isn't there? Well, let me push it up. Like that. And there's the toilet there. So quick poke around. Oh, I forgot to mention there's a big mirror up there as well. There's me in the mirror. I'll sort of sort this out so it looks all right again. So the next person comes in and it's nice and tidy. Now, this is a comparatively cheap motorhome for a um, relatively quality build. It's always difficult to say what um, quality is because uh, it differs from person to person, but for 60,000 euros for this vehicle compared to many others, I don't think that's bad at all, quite honest. Okay. 
I'll, uh, I'll show you on the outside. So we've got here a large, very large garage. And uh, so if you're interested in one of these, you can contact Rizemobile Hartman, that's locked, in Lunen. There will be a link below and you can tell them that you want one. Show you some of the other vans on the stand whilst I'm here. This uh, Winchester is the top of the range uh, vehicle from this company. So uh, it uh, comes at a cost of 92 and a half thousand euros. It is on a integrated base. Right, if there's people in the van, it's, I can't actually enter them. These are the, the rules for now. Magister 70 LM. Uh, a vehicle that costs 69,000 and it's got a queen bed <laughs> and uh, 64 LDF which has got a side bed <laughs> and um, the Baxter which is the smallest one of the lot. Uh, 63,000. And this is a small six meter van with a side bed. So 2022 layout like this, two uh, burners, largest sink, Right, toilet and shower. Now, if uh, there is one thing that's happened for 2022, it's because there have been improvements in kitchen equipment. The kitchens, uh, and above all, this a move to two burners rather than three, and uh, spacing out the burners more so you can get normal domestic pans on them. That is the main change, I think, from previous years. Oh, it's an extension. That's a bit random discover on a integrated basis at a cost of ooh, over 97,000 <laughs> and uh, I'll take you back to the one I started off with which was this one here I'll even close the door so we can see it with the door closed. 65 LJG, 63,000 euros. A vehicle which I think is quite reasonable for the price quality ratio. Thanks for watching. This is the first time ever that I have accepted any support for uh, promoting a product on YouTube now I've been do on YouTube now for 15 years and I've doing the van life stuff for a number of years as well um, The reason I haven't accepted support in the past is because I, I felt it had to be something which I really agreed with and a product I knew so I had to feel a hundred percent about recommending it to others this is Solbio and this is a toilet additive now what's the point of a toilet additive well when you use the toilet 
then it goes into a cassette and you have to dump the cassette somewhere. Now, uh, if you just urinate into it, then there should be no problem. But if you put any solids into it, then it makes it a bit more difficult. Now, one thing you can do is if you have constant diarrhea, then you may not need a toilet additive because you should be able to dump it without any problems. For those of you who don't suffer from this problem, then uh, one thing you might want to consider doing, in fact, one thing you're going to have to consider doing is using a toilet additive. And there's two types. There's the blue stuff, which is manufactured by a number of companies and it works pretty well. No problems there whatsoever with the way it works. Oh, there's the green stuff, which is ecologically based. Now, up until now, the green stuff didn't work as well as the blue stuff. But I think with Solbio, uh, we're now seeing a comparative uh, working uh, rate. It works, just, it works just as well. So it's uh, ecological. What it's got inside, are natural soaps, it's got natural citric acid, it's got uh, essential oils and plant extracts and that breaks down whatever it is that you're throwing into the toilet or, or releasing into the toilet I should say and when you come to a dump station you can just tip up your cassette and it all flows in nicely. Now you may say, well I have constant diarrhea and so therefore I don't need something like that. Well, uh, that, that may be the, the case, but one thing that this has got, it's got a rather pleasant fragrance to it as well. Now, I personally like the, the, the fragrance of the blue stuff, but I know I'm in a small minority on that one. One thing I noticed uh, when I've been doing tests of really small vehicles, uh, such as you know five and a half meter ones above all, so as soon as you open the door, you have this um, uh, fragrance, let's say, of the blue stuff sort of, sort of hits you. Now, uh, with this one here, Solbio, it's got a more natural sort of smell. It's, it's a bit uh, like uh, eucalyptus. I'm trying to find a good way of actually describing it and the best thing I could think of it's got you know, these cough drops or these eucalyptus like sweets and it's got this type of fragrance within the uh, within the toilet anyway and uh, if you're in a small van I bet it fills up the it could fill up the small van I haven't really noticed it so when I'm sitting here in this position for example but uh, maybe I'm not using enough of it to actually notice uh, um, next thing is, is it safe to use? Well, the thing with the blue stuff is there are um, good reasons to suggest that it may not be completely safe to use. I mean, it does break things down in a chemical manner. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to suggest it's um, dangerous or anything like that, but I don't think it is particularly good for the environment. Uh, if it comes into contact with uh, plants or things of this nature. I mean, there's even, there's warnings that, I mean, if you get it in a fish tank or something like that, I don't know why you want to put it in a fish tank, but uh, if you put it in a fish tank, then the fish will die. So, um, this, as it comes from natural things, you assume that it's okay. Now, the blue stuff as well, I've noticed, I always get it on my hands. And not only that, I mean, obviously, I sort of miss the toilet as well. But sorry, I get it in the toilet bowl. I don't miss the toilet. I miss the sort of the hole where you open up for the toilet. And it sort of stains. And it takes a few uh, flushes for it to actually go down. I don't know if that's bad or not. But um, it's uh, with this stuff, it's, uh, it's almost translucent. Not quite, but almost. As is when you dump it out, which seems a bit odd the first time, you think, hang on, just a minute, I'm sure I didn't just urinate in there. Uh, but but that's the way, that's the way it is. Um, the, the manufacturers say it doesn't cause skin irritation. I have never experienced skin irritation from the blue stuff, but I have heard of people uh, uh, having this problem. And um, let's have another look at it, because here it comes in two. Uh, this one, one's for marine use and the other's for motorhome use. Now it could be that mariners use the toilet or they eat something a bit more dodgy or I don't know, but it's it's different. This contains 40 um, doses and it's dosed 
via this thing down here, this little tap. Now, um, I know there are people who are suspect of these taps. Now, I previously worked in the packaging industry. And indeed, I used to give uh, talks being an expert. I don't think I was much of an expert, but, but, uh, but uh, I do know a little bit about it. This technology is perfectly safe, I think, to use. It's not, I mean, it's often used in bag in the box applications and so you, know, you get wine or something the wine's in a in a um in a box and they've got this tap that sticks out and you and you use it in the company i used to work where we produced blueberry juice we use this technology and i've never known the taps to go wrong in my direct experience but when they first came out, I agree there was problems with them. I've heard of people saying they put something in the fridge or they're they, uh, you know, in, the, in the van and something hit here. In theory, you're supposed to knock both ends down at the... Oh, sorry, sorry, pull them both up and press down at the same time to get it to, to work. So, I mean, I do accept that these things can go wrong. Just as, I mean, if you don't close a bottle properly, everything will go out. But I make, I make that part. Other than that, the bag may seem a little uh, unsturdy because of the, the, the way it is. But uh, I can tell it's made from um, recycled. Uh, it's green plastic. It's uh, and uh, I think it's I think it's quite safe. So uh, there are some observations on this. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, I, I really do think it's a, it's it is a good solution for you. Now, it costs roughly the same as the blue stuff. There isn't much difference. Now, I do appreciate that um, in, um, with, if there was a price difference, that might be a problem. Although, I think if you're into motorhomes, then you're probably like living in harmony with nature, which is what I'm in it. For really, I think I think it's the call of nature, this contact with nature and all the rest of it. So I think that protecting nature is something that uh, I, I would want to do. Whether or not I'm prepared to pay a premium, yes, maybe I'm prepared to pay a little bit of a premium for it. But in all honesty, this, between this one and the blue stuff, there's hardly any difference. Right, so uh, if you find that of interest, there will be a link below. It's not an affiliate link. It just tells you where to get the stuff from. Uh, I'm not on any affiliate programs at all, deliberately, so nobody can accuse me of uh, uh, trying to promote something to get the affiliate uh, link. But I do absolutely believe in this product. So, thanks very much for watching. I am currently at a place called Alexa Camping, or Camping Alexa, in northern Poland. And you may have heard some of the noises on the outside from the campsite. But I shall tell you more about that in another video. So, there you go. This is about Solvio. Thanks for watching.